Hey there, how's it going? David in ARC here, and today I've got a quick tutorial for you, and this might work for a whole bunch of mods. If you've got a mod that you've downloaded, right, you grab the zip file, you put it in BeamNG Mods folder, and it does not show up in the list at all, especially if it's a vehicle or a prop, this might be a fix for you. So uh, the other day I posted a video about this fire mod and the zip file does not work in the mods folder. So what you want to do is you take your zip file of the mod that you downloaded and when you double click on it, uh, this should open up to a folder with vehicles and I'm going to double click vehicles and now there's going to be a fire folder in here. I'm going to right click on the fire folder and I'm going to copy that folder. Okay. I don't have to do anything with the zip. It's all good. I'm just going to right click copy. Then the next thing you want to do is go to your user folder. So when you bring up your BeamNG drive launcher, you're going to go to manage user folder, open in Explorer. Now, normally you put mods in the mods folder, but because the zip file is not working correctly, instead what you're going to do is you're going to go to the vehicles folder, double click on vehicles, and then it doesn't matter what's in here. Just ignore all that. You're going to right click over in a white space over on the right hand side here, and you're going to choose paste. And that is going to paste that fire folder into the vehicles. So now when you go to BeamNG, you will have the fire mod as an option. You'll notice that in this particular case, the fire mod does not have a thumbnail. So once you uh, go in here and you choose fire, then at that point I can spawn new. And when I do, there is the fire. So this could work potentially for other mods as well that don't show up in the list when you put the zip file in the mods folder. Got any other questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. We'll see you next time. I'm David Inark. Have a great day.